guys. Oh, uh, this is so annoying. Um, it's like one in the morning right now, and me and Dennis are over here searching between. Oh. Broke the door to steal. Oh, that guy just stole something. He broke the door and ran out and stole something. I don't know what he stole. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, me and Dennis are over here trying to find my camera because we were here about an hour ago and I was vlogging and I came back home and no camera. I had no camera. So we retraced our steps and we were right here at the grocery store about an hour ago. Um, I can't find it. I'm assuming somebody stole it. I hope not, but it's nowhere. So we were inside the store. We were shopping. I was vlogging. I remember. Then I took the camera to the register when we were paying for our stuff. That's when I don't remember. Did I leave it at the register? Um, we called and they said that, that, look, they're coming for the person who stole Okay, anyway, so the idiot who stole, I guess whatever he stole was so important, he ran so fast, he hit himself on the side of the door and he broke the door. They just had to fix it right now. Searching between... And then he just took off that way. But whatever, that's not my worry. My worry is, I didn't know if I left the camera at the register. So we called and I asked her, I said, hey, um, is there a camera over there at the register? I was only there about five minutes ago. And she said, no, I don't see anything. So then I said, can you please check the lost and found? And they said that there's nothing in the lost and found. So then I retraced my steps even more. And I remember that we bought water. So we were right here where all the water is at. But Dennis pulled his car up right here on the sidewalk and I was helping him put the water in the car. So I'm thinking, again, I don't remember fully, but I'm thinking that I put my camera down somewhere over here so that I could help Dennis pick up the water and put it in the car. And then we put the water in the car and we probably drove off. Um, I can't find my camera anywhere. Bro, how long have we been here? We, we came back. We've been here for like 40 minutes right now. Yeah, we've been searching and searching. Bro. We checked every single, show all the cards. Guys, every look, single. we literally went through all those cards to make sure that I didn't leave it in the car and we couldn't find it. My only worry, and again, I'm not blaming anything for anyone just in case, but there was some dude sitting right here while we were picking the waters up. Sitting right here, you know, he already looked pretty sketchy. It was like midnight. Yeah, it looked sketchy for sure. Yeah, it was like midnight on a Wednesday and he's just sitting here by himself. So I'm guessing, you know, I left my camera, put it down right here or maybe right there on the ledge, helped Dennis with the waters, and we left. Obviously, this dude sitting right here is probably looking. Um, again, I'm not assuming for sure, but um, yeah, I'm guessing that he took it. I don't know. Honestly, guys, you might not believe me, but my biggest thing is not even getting the camera stolen or losing the camera. I have another camera at the house. That's not my point. My point is I had a whole video filmed. I had a whole vlog filmed and the chip was still inside the camera. That's what I'm mad about. I had a video done for tomorrow and I lost the video. That's what I care about. I swear it was so funny. All the Romel, I know, bro. He's never doing that again. Guys, we got Romel to do some, like, crazy, bro. Bro, my overtime game. And your overtime game. Oh, um, bro, just stop, just stop. Oh, and Brian. Guys, Brian was at the house. Brian, I beat Brian for 100 bucks. And Booker attacked him. Oh, yeah, Booker attacking Brian. Fuck, this was such a funny vlog. Bro, I can't believe, I'm, I feel so stupid, I swear. I swear, I care more about losing the chip than I care about losing the camera. If I lost the camera, but I got all my footage somehow, I swear I wouldn't care. I'm dumb, bro. I feel so stupid right now. I feel like an idiot. Okay, guys, so we've been here for pretty much about an hour. We've checked all the cards, nothing there. We checked all the registers, nothing there. We checked all the aisles that we walked into, nothing there. We checked all the water between the water everywhere nothing is there we already checked dennis's car one time but we're gonna try to check it again it we are pretty much screwed <sighs>
It's my fault though. I can't blame anyone but myself. Okay guys, so I think we might have found like a huge clue. I'm not saying this is gonna They're help us. They're a valued us. customer too, so they have the customer code. No way. I swear. Okay guys, so look. We found this cart laying here and there was a receipt like this. And we look at it and this is our receipt. Th this is what we bought. We left the receipt in the cart. So this was our cart. This right here was our cart. Then we found another receipt on top of it. Our receipt was printed at like 11.05 p.m. This was printed at 11.40 p.m. So Which these, is probably the next time someone would get this yeah, car. Yeah, exactly. The next customer. Because it's late. There aren't people coming in here every two minutes. It's like it was at close and to midnight. And the they brought the cart there. Yeah, exactly. So these people, if, like I said, I'm not blaming anything on anyone 100%. But, but if my camera was left in the cart, if I left it in the cart, these people right here were the next people to use the cart. And nobody has used it since then. So... Please take this receipt. We'll see if we could like find a number, call them. Bro, six. it says they're a valued customer, bro. So it has, let's see what that girl's name was. Guys, the craziest thing we also just found out. So what was the only thing those people bought after Arrowhead us? Arrowhead water. Arrowhead water? $3 okay. Guys, that right there is see. Arrowhead water. I told you guys that I'm guessing I left my camera right there on that ledge. And look, that's what they purchased right there. Um, and they have the same card as us? Yeah, and they have the same... Bro. Bro. We'll just ask if we can find the... It says it's their customer number. Okay. We'll see if we can do Bro, it. Bro, when we tell her, oh, can you find the number again, we put all the pieces together, she's going to say, are you guys on Criminal Minds? She's going to say, what is the detective? Wait, FBI shit. You want me to ask her? Yeah, I'm all scared. Right, fine, fine, fine. I know cop. Law and order. No. Six and a half hours later. Guys, so we talked to the worker and um, she said that we're right. There could be a chance that they stole it right after us because this was their receipt. And she said she checked them out. The only thing with that is that she said that the card they used, their Vons card, it didn't have a name. They, they weren't signed up, which means there's no name on file or phone number. So there's no way we could contact them. She said the only thing they could do tomorrow is check the cameras. But honestly, like, even if they check the cameras and they see that someone took it, there's nothing we could do. So, um, we're not gonna get the camera yeah, we're not going to get the camera back. We're not getting that footage. <sighs> Guys, what really sucks about this, and now I'm thinking about it, it's making me so mad. Right before we left to Vaughn's, I picked my camera up. We were still in the house, and I picked my camera up. And then I looked at Dennis, and I was like, bro, Dennis, I already have so much footage. We already recorded so much. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera to Vaughn's. And then he was like, oh, it's up to you, bro. And then I was like, actually... Me, you, Brian, and Romel at Vons, we could get some funny footage. I'll just bring it anyways. And then he's like, all right, bro, it's up to you. But I knew, I knew in my head, I already had my video pretty much done. And I ended up bringing it, and now it's gone. So, damn it. All right, guys, so next day now, and I just got off the phone with the grocery store. Um, nobody turned the camera in. They didn't find the camera in the shopping cart. So... Um, just like we thought yesterday, it is stolen. Somebody stole my camera and it sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, yo, dude, who raises these people? Like, I'm just, excuse me, I'm warning you guys. I'm just gonna go on a little mini rant right now. Who raises these people? If there's one thing that I hate, it's people who steal. Like, I don't know if I was raised differently or I have different morals or what, but if I see a camera in a shopping cart, I'm not gonna walk up there and be like, You know, that's just not the type of person I am. I'm going to pick the camera up and I'm going to go into the store and I'm going to be like, hey, somebody left their camera here, so can you hold on to it? If they call or whatever, give it back to them. That's it. It's simple, bro. It's not that hard. Like, I hate people who steal. People who steal, what they don't understand is whether you make YouTube videos, whether you work at a bank, whether you, you know, no matter how you make your money, no matter how you make your money, Everybody has to work for their money. Everybody has to do a job to get their money. Whether it's filming YouTube videos, you know, whether it's standing on your feet and working, no matter what it is, people work for their money. So when you steal, it's not cool. 
Like, it's not right to steal things, okay? I don't care if it's a $1 water bottle or a $700 camera like mine yesterday. The point is, stealing is not cool. Everybody works for their stuff. Everybody works for their money. And um, I hope, you know, if I have younger audience watching this video, I'm telling you guys, it's not cool to steal. It's not cool to steal, you know, when you're younger, when you get older. It's not cool to steal a $1 candy bar or a $1,000 camera. It's not cool to steal. And to whoever saw the camera, karma. Karma's gonna get you bad. So um, we just gotta move on from this and learn from our mistakes. <laughs> Please. You don't want me to record no, the car? Now. Really? <laughs> Man, I hate when the fame changes people, bro. Where's my camera? Were you the one who stole it? Check Open the car. car. Let, let no. me check the car. You're not checking my car. Let me check the car. I have a feeling you stole it. You're already too close. <laughs> This car is so sexy. For those who didn't get a chance to watch my brother's video, no, Brian. I think it's mine. Okay, fine. Wait, what do you want them? I bought it. Oh, you bought it? Okay. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos that are really into cars. You guys are probably going crazy. Hey, Dennis, um, am I allowed to hop in the front or? Mm -hmm. Come on. Ahead, bro. But I'm not turning. Oh, what the hell? I know it's hard. I have to crawl in. Hey, brother. You've done a lot for me in my life to here. Here, bro. All you. The car is for me? All you. Um, so is it like a rental or? Just return it this week. Wait, what kind of Rory? Four. Fifty. Eight. Hey, Dennis, can I start it just to hear the engine? Yeah. You want to open the drop before you do that? Hold on. You want to open the roof or to keep holding it? I feel like I'm in a transformer. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into the car. <laughs> Wait, bro, this is so. <laughs> Hey, be careful when you hit the gas, it goes. Ooh. He already flipped on me. All right, bro. He's not gonna know how to go into reverse. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna know how to go into reverse. Brandon! Press the R. It's an R. Press the R. On the bottom, on the bottom. <laughs> I'm not up today on these supercars, bro. <laughs> really want it back. Yeah. Hey, that took a little long. What happened there? How to put it in the <laughs> Yo guys, so I'd like to close this video out on a more serious note and ask you guys for a favor. The favor I'm asking you guys is if you guys can please pray for my dog Bosley. I'm sure all you guys know Bosley. I love him. My 18th birthday gift. He's my best friend. He's my favorite pet in the whole entire world. You know, I love Bosley. And for those who don't know, Bosley is undergoing two surgeries today, maybe three. And um, I don't care if you're a dog, cat, human, no matter you know what you are, if you're undergoing surgery, let alone two or three surgeries in one day, it is a very, very scary thing. And obviously, God forbid, but surgeries are, you know, they're very dangerous. And um, I'm just asking you guys to please pray for Bosley because I love Bosley to death. And he has never undergone surgery in his life. So the fact that he's getting not one, but two and maybe three surgeries in one day is very scary. Um, if you guys wanna get into details, he is getting neutered today. Um, we have tried to neuter him in the past because it's better to do it when they're younger. The only thing with Bosley is that he's always been so sick that they haven't been able to put him to sleep so that they could do the surgery. But today, they ran a blood test and they said that he's finally healthy enough to be put to sleep to undergo surgery. So poor dog, he's been sick and had problems his whole life. And you know, the phase of his life where he's finally healthy 
he's only healthy enough to undergo more surgeries. So, you know, he's getting neutered. And um, since they can't put Bosley to sleep more than one time, um, he's not healthy enough for that. He can only be put to sleep one time. Only put under anesthesia one time. So whatever they do, they have to do it all at once. They have to do it all today. So not only is he getting neutered today, but he's also having work done on his teeth, his jaw. He's getting 10 of his teeth pulled out. 10 of his teeth pulled out. I guess um, some of his baby teeth never fell out when he was younger. And also on top of that, um, some of his teeth are just really bad. I don't know how he eats the same food as, you know, any, any food that, you know, other dogs eat, but I don't know what happened to Bosley's teeth. So he's getting 10 teeth pulled out on top of that. While he's asleep, they're going to check his eye because for those who don't know, Bosley is, he's not blind, but sometimes he has difficulty seeing from one of his eyes. So they're going to check his eye and see if they need to do anything with that. So it's just a big, big day for Bosley. He's been at the vet from 8 in the morning, and we don't get to pick him up till 5 p.m. That's nine hours at the vet. And, um, man, I love Bosley so much, so I hope everything is going well. I spoke to the vet on the phone for, like, 30 minutes, like, asking so many questions and just, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I love Bosley. I feel so bad for him, you know. Um, besides his surgeries today, people know Bosley his whole life ear infections, um, skin infections, he's had problems with his paws, he's, he's, like I said, he has trouble seeing from one of his eyes, he has breathing problems, and I love that little poor dog, so I don't think he deserves all this, um, hopefully these surgeries go well, and hopefully we can get Bosley back to being healthy, because he's kind of spent his whole life, whether sick, or having infections, or like today, getting surgery, and, um, uh, I don't like seeing my dog like that, so uh, please pray for Bosley. The vet did call us one time. She said that the neutering surgery was done, and now they're on to his you know, teeth, his mouth, pulling the 10 teeth, and after that, they're going to check the eye, and they're going to call us and see if they need to do a surgery there. Oh, this is such a, such a crazy day. I don't know. I don't like it, but um, it just has me feeling nervous and anxious, and you know my stomach's turning. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And on top of all that, my freaking camera got stolen. And then yesterday, I was throwing up and had the migraine. And, ah, it's been it's been a pretty hectic past two days, guys. But don't worry, I still got two videos up for you guys. I still managed to upload both of these days despite everything going on. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that. This video was not supposed to be the one I was going to put out. I had a really fun vlog and a funny video ready for you guys. Um, but instead, you guys got to see me get my camera stolen and got to hear about my dog getting surgery. I know that's not what you guys like. I know it's more on the negative side of things when I'm a positive person. But there's nothing I could do to control it. I'm so sorry about that. I still hope you guys enjoyed. I still hope you drop a like. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. Other than that, Brandon, a.k.a. Bawadis, and I'm out. Peace. I love you guys. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right